everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to go over the occult meaning behind Thanksgiving. <clears throat> really simple. I know there's, um, like, you got the, Indi the Indian story, um, which is true. You also need to research the Red Pleiadians, which are the Native American Indians, and they're teaming up with um, another race uh, to basically um, bring forth a new technology that was like a lesser technology in society to keep us um, dumbed down and reliant on this technology that we have now. But that's a whole other thing with the Red Pleiadians being Native American Indians. Um, so um, basically you've got, um, and it was funny because I just saw another video and I was like, no, I'm going to add to that because that's like, it's important for the, the run on to keep running on. Um, you've got Thanksgiving, which is an ancient Egyptian, Sumerian um, uh, holiday. Um, I get into it again, uh, Marduk and Queen Samarimus being the Black Madonna and um, Enki and also like Jesus and Mary, uh, your Jesus. And um, so you've got Marduk. So once you connect the Enki and the Black Madonna, then you know that Marduk is Thoth, is Thor, is Thor's day. And that is why um, Thanksgiving is always on Thor's day, Thursday. Because Thor's day is, Thursday is Jupiter, Job, number four. So um, hopefully that makes some sense to you. Um, I would suggest looking into Marduk. Marduk is also a, was a planet that was destroyed. And I can show it to you. Oh my God, it's so gigantic. Wait. <laughs> okay, it's up there. Count those planets. And I'm thinking that Marduk was either this one or this one. But this is an ancient solar guide of what the solar system used to look like. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Okay, this is a really awesome picture, by the way. So, that would be Inanna. All right, thank you.